Hello everyone, I hope you all are doing good. Well, if you see, my garden is really blooming, especially with this wintermelon or ash guard. If you don't know what is wintermelon or ash guard, you definitely need to do a little bit research about it because this is one of the positive pranic food on the planet. Today, I'm going to show you how to make wintermelon or ash guard juice. This is also called high pranic food or highly nutritious food. This is like 95% or 99% made up of water. We generally used to get wintermelon from the Indian stores and make uh, juice out of it every morning on an empty stomach. We used to have them. But this year we decided to have a plant in our garden and we really become successful on making this wintermelon from our own garden. After we tasted this homegrown uh, vegetable juice, we were so much under shock in a good way because uh, the store-bought one was not that tasty but there is something about home-growing vegetable because they really taste so good and they have some life into that taste especially ashgard is not a very uh, tasting vegetable it's like a bland vegetable but this one when I made the juice out of it I was so much under shock with how wonderful it tastes especially when you're homegrown but I'm not disappointing you that you should should grow it at home to make it you can also get it from store because it has the same nutritious uh, nutritious value or nutritional value to it and the process of making this juice is very simple basically you can do in many varieties but I like to make it very simple without adding too many flavors to it by itself it is so good so as you see in the video I showed you how to really cut the uh, wintermelon pieces taking the skin off because you cannot really have the skin it's too tough and I filled it in a jar that's a juicer the size of it is about one fourth from the entire vegetable or maybe like less than that so it gives you like about one or less than one cup of uh, juice it quickly blends in the juicer once you turn it on it doesn't take more than five seconds as you see there's so much pulp more than juice but it is so easy to strain the juice out of it as you see I had a, a pouring jar and I put a mesh on it so that I can filter all the pulp and let me tell you I did not made another video because um, I did not really get time but this pulp do not throw that pulp you can actually make a nice sweet out of it adding jaggery it can be like a halwa in Indian dishes and this juice is almost done and all I'm just adding is honey if you don't like honey you can happily have it like this but do not add sugar you're actually damaging the nutritional values to it if you really want some sweetening agent you can add maple syrup maybe or maybe a stevia uh, but honey is the best choice if you really ask me uh, i'm still trying to be vegan i'm not fully vegan i'm still eating some vegetarian food i'm, I'm a vegetarian for sure but uh, still, still trying to be vegan so all i just did is strain it add the honey and that's it this wintermelon or ash guard juice is ready especially if you have this every other day or every day on an empty stomach it really helps your health if you do want to do a little bit research on it go online and search about wintermelon or ash curd benefits some people do like to add some lemon juice but i do not want to do that because wintermelon juice itself is so nutritious i don't want to enhance anything else adding to it but if you want, you can go ahead and try adding lemon juice and try it. I'm sure it tastes good. But if you're a Sadhguru follower, you can definitely find in one of his videos talking about this wintermelon or ashgar benefits and how wonderful it is to, you know, have this on our planet and have beneficial to human. Well, if you like this video, please like, share and subscribe. And if you try this recipe, please let me know how do you feel about the taste. And I absolutely love it. In some markets, they sell this vegetable into pieces, but if you have an opportunity to get the entire vegetable, maybe it is a lot for you. If there is a leftover like this, just wrap it and put it in the refrigerator. It is good and fresh up to two days and after three days, probably it will start turning, you know, more softer. And the pulp, like I told you, you have so many recipes to make. I made two different recipes. One is like... Uh, uh, chutney the Indian chutney I added uh, this pulp into the chutney and add some tampering it was really good because I don't feel much difference and it really increased the amount and texture 
and the second recipe i made like a sweet like an indian sweet if you're familiar with halwa that's how it turns out with jaggery and if you are interested in gardening or if you want more tips about gardening or if you love watching gardening videos and harvesting videos you are in the right place you can go ahead and subscribe to my channel if you're not subscribed and uh, like you see in the picture i almost harvest every other day or every week especially in the summer hope you like this video and thank you for watching bye bye